fucking nothing of them, isn't there? There is, yeah. All over the shop. It's fiddling that bleed, it's going there, dude. I know, yeah. You're fucking looking at them anymore. You're sick of the fucking sight of them, yeah. I know you are, yeah. And they're fucking patchwork. They're territory. That's right, they're a fucking party. Sucking up our business, the fucking locusts. Low cost fucks, yeah. What? What you said? I said bleeding locusts. Locusts? Yeah, the fucking grasshopper yokes that eat everything, locusts. Like on the nature program? Like the fucking grasshopper yokes that eat everything. You get them here? It doesn't fucking matter if you get them here, does it? Just making a fucking comparison. Bleeding parable, isn't it? Fucking low cost. Right, they're locusts, whatever. It's my over there, look. No, it's not. It is. She's talking to herself again. Fuck's sake, she is. You've seen her talking to herself before? She's always at it. Fucking mad bitches, the lot of them. They're all bleeding mental, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Well, you're experienced too, yeah? You want to see some of the mad young ones I know? Yeah. Nikki's obsessed with Nutella, did you know that? What, your Nikki? She's not my Nikki. You're seeing her? I see her the odd time. She's your fucking Nikki cell. Right, but she's obsessed with Nutella. Is that that black bloke? Huh? What black bloke? Never mind. Nutella is that chocolate shit that some doorboards put on bread. Nikki can't get enough of it. But it's all she eats now most days, nothing but Nutella. Carries a jar around with her all times. Eats it with a spoon, man. Uh, told you. All bleeding mental, a lot of them. All of them, you reckon? All of them. In their own ways, like. Nicky's nice, though, you know. Despite the Nutella obsession. I know. Part of the problem. That's why you fucking put up with them, isn't it? She's a lovely board, really. I'm lucky. Watch yourself with them. A lot of trouble, you know? Yeah. I mean, look at you. Me? Nothing but fucking trouble. I'm your pride and joy, me. I'm gonna carry on your good name, me. Way of the future. Me lineage. <laughs> yeah. Down the line, like. Lucky me. Lucky us. Still like the ducks? What are you on about? So you were mad into the duck ducks when you were little, like. Yeah. They're all right, yeah. What on out of that? You used to be obsessed with them when you were little, like. When I was three. What, you're saying they've lost their appeal since then? No, I'm just saying I'm not three anymore, Dad. What's that got to do with Anton? Ducks are ducks, and ducks is bleeding deadly. Particularly the ones in here, regardless of what bleeding vintage you are, am I right? I suppose, yeah. Don't be denying the duck love, son. Doesn't make you tougher, Anton. You can still be a hard man and have a soft spot for the duck ducks. What about the swans? Do you like them? Nah. They're stuck up fucks, aren't they? With their bleeding necks. And they're whiter than white. Like they're the P. Diddy's of the board world. And he's a right fucking spy, isn't he? Of course. And man, you were mad to the ducks when you were little, though. Always nicking bread to feed them. Never a bleeding slice left for a sambo. Could never give out to you over that, though. But that's not how I remember it. Well, what do you remember? I remember you battering shit out me on more than one occasion. When there was never a bit of bread left for a chip out you on a Saturday evening. No, we never. Believe me, I recall it quite vividly. You battered the shit out of me for feeding them ducks too much. The novelty had worn off by then, I reckon. That was for something else. Those batterings, they were for something else. You're a sly little bollocks, you are. Have to put you in your place sometimes. Just saying, I definitely got a couple of hidings for feeding them ducks. Might be the reason a bit more cagey about admitting the duck love these days. There's less of them now, isn't there? Yeah. More than back then, wasn't it? Of course there was. Pretty in that element with me pumping them full of Johnson's Mooney and O'Brien morning, noon and night. Yeah, other factors too though, I reckon. Like global warming or something? Have you not noticed that lately? What are you talking about? The dwindling population. The cause of the basin ducks being an endangered species these days. Have a theory, dear. 
More than a bleeding teary son, seen with me own eyes. Seen what? Duck poaching. I'm telling you, all the bleeding chinkies around it these days. Uh, are you for real? I'm telling you, the cost of a competitively priced sweet and sour duck, I've seen it with me own peeper, son. Sneaky little fucker slipping in here after dark, all stealthy like. Up and over them gates there, or tight roping it along that wall like bleeding Jet Lee with this pole with a net at the end of it. They scoop out any duck swimming too close to the edge, swing them up and over onto the pad there for this fucking rapid death blow. I'm telling you, poor little fuckers don't even get a chance to let out a final quack, they're that fucking quick. These ninja duck poachers. That's shocking. It's a fucking crime, I tell you. And you know how many chinkies there are in this area these days. That's serious competition for duck stock, you know? Desperate. Dirty chinky bastards. I'm never eating in one of them places again. What is the world coming to? It's a mess, son. I'm not gonna lie to you now. I know, Da. I know. Come on, son. You be and go, I got the moves, yeah, look at me go, Beckham, Rooney, no way, George and the rest, maybe next time Pele, cause I am the best duck love. Okay, you win, your poor old man. Hand me my jacket, pass me my can. The sun's coming out, let's go to the park. I'll buy a slice pan. Come on, little man, duck love.